Hello, everybody. This is Beetle G. Welcome back to Know or Profit. We are in such a good place. Look at all of our resources. And we're going to go hit this red fight. A little scary, but we had a pretty good fight a couple of fights ago. <laughs> at the end of your turn, if you have one or more energy, spawn a drone and lose one energy. Six times. Jeez. Okay. Deck looks pretty good. We can put our good guy back in. Is there any, any people we don't want? I actually quite like our, our threes. We have some good threes. Uh, two mana, two, three. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ooh, right. Charge and Fury. I think that might be better than our Vindicator. Okay. We're ready to go. Actually, let's draw a leader card. I actually think this is not so good because we we don't want a full hand of leader cards with our pain is wisdom. We want to be able to draw the reduced cost card, but it should be fine. We, we can use them pretty quick. Oh, man. Okay, so this is an interesting start. I kind of want to keep the four mana seven six. Oh, my God. He is 29 HP. Maybe we shouldn't be going for the aggro start. Let's let's drop the cultist. Ooh. Okay. 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 Let's start with this guy. I'm going to double his HP. So we're, we're we're hitting the point of the game. We've passed the midway section. Oh, blackout's pretty good. We're, so we're par past the midway section. Now the battles aren't so much rushing down their life as battles of attrition. And we we've got to be careful cuz you can lose some crazy amount of units. If you're not, if you're not careful, um, I'm trying to think of how to do this. We could trade this in and then blind shot to just kill this, but I don't really like that because that leaves our board empty, and we lose our tribal stalker, which I don't think is gonna be able to live. Shoot, we could just 50-50 the blind shot, but that doesn't sound good. gains one energy. Deplete. Actually, yeah, Deplete and Relentless might give us the, the time we need. I think Deplete Relentless is the play. So this way we can actually kill this. Oh, okay, we have to kill it because of Inspiring Command. Inspiring Command would make it a 3-1, and then it could kill our 4-3. I was... If they didn't have Inspiring Command, we could have hit face and then killed the 2-1 next turn, but it's a little iffy. Oh, he played right into our trap. Actually, we are kind of fucked. The dang ruster makes it a problem. We can't hit it, yeah. If we heavy blast here and then swing in, the 3-3 three, three is dead. <sighs> Actually, heavy blast memory lash works. This really isn't a good play. If we swing in Memory Lash, we have two mana, we could play the barrier. I think I like that more. We we need to keep some board presence up. I think this is gonna be better. 
Yeah, three, two, that's fine. We can kill it with the barrier. Ah, he might kill a hard guy, but that's fine. He'll have to trade it. We got our aimed shot, that's nice, cheap. Gains of mana. Deal three damage to a random enemy target. Wow, the luck, he could have hit our face. Ooh, yikes. Okay, so this is not a bad mounting pressure. The problem is we wouldn't be able to follow up with any cards. So maybe, oh my gosh, he also played around Heavy Blast pretty well. Um, Heavy Blast, then we play the 7-6, yeah. Also, I should not have Overseer in this deck when we're playing against drones, because it gives all drones plus one, plus one. I made that mistake one or two runs ago, and it was awful. Okay, first strike and robust. That's a cool card. Ow. Yeah, we can't draw. Unfortunate. Okay, three uses left. We're getting there. I think this is a good time to use Mounting Pressure. This is hard to kill. This has Barrier. This will kill them all. It'll keep our guy on the board. Uh, and then we can't really do much else. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I still like that. I think that was the right play. We're in a much better place. He only has eight cards left in his convoy deck. Ooh, all drones get plus one, plus one. I would like to take that. My dude. Hmm. Okay, I have a good play. I have a really good play. Blessed Strength on this hits that. We get to play one drone that costs two because then we're going to blind shot and kill that. Blessed Strength. Play a drone. Ah, I should not have lined him up. That's fine. Smack this. Ooh, yeah. Blind shot. Okay. We're going to be able to start attacking his face soon. Deal six times one to random enemy units or obstacles. He's killed everything on our board. Oh. Spawn a drone where X is the number of drones on your side. <laughs> it's pretty garbage. When you scrap a card, a random attack card in your hands gains plus one damage. So, if we scrap a card and get it on this, that would be fantastic. We have 11 cards left. We have eight cards left. What do we want to scrap? Uh, you know what? Let's scrap Overseer. Please. No. Dang it. We could do Blind Rage and Aim Shot. That leaves us with four. Neural Shiv. Five. I'd like to play this, because we could kill the 1-1 one, one and the 2-1. Two, or the 2-2. Two, two. I don't think there's a good way to do that. I think we Neural Shiv this. Play Berserker. Berserker. Let's let's try that one out. Ah, oh, dang it! He can kill it because of inspiring command. Destroy a random enemy unit or obstacle. This is really tough. He still has six units left, and he gets two more two two drones. Hmm. Where's our second mounting pressure? What we took disintegrate over it? <laughs> we could have had it right here. Hmm. I'm learning, I'm learning a lot of new lessons. Not a lot of new lessons today. Okay. We have 10. We could actually kill both of these units. We, we really should kill this with headshot right now. Hmm. 
Mm, okay, let's play a work uh, drone that's not going to die. And then we just waste two mana? I think so. Okay. Yeah, because we need this to kill this later. Let's see what he does. We can take six damage. That's fine. If he wants to trade into it, that's also great. Place a target drone with 5-3 drone. That's a good card. That's a pretty decent card right there. All drones heal 3 damage. You dummy, you healed me up. Mm. Okay. Oh my god. This is becoming a headache. So, we could just use this to kill th these two drones. It's not the worst. Um, we still need five to kill this drone. Oh, actually, mm, yeah, because we, if this die, I was thinking we could trade this in, but it, he's, he'll die for good. I kind of want to move him if possible. So play this, kill that, kill the five, three. Do both of these on that. This becomes a 4-2. We move it up. God damn. This, this battle has become way more of an attrition-based battle than I could have ever expected. I didn't think we could just kill this. Um, I don't think we have to kill a four or five. I'm going to, I'm going to hit the face. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting lost in the sauce here. Oh, also I'm blocking a card. I, I have a charge unit. Hmm. I did it. I, I attacked the face. <laughs> I do wish I had put this up one so we could put the sniper behind him. Ooh, ooh, I see. did kind of mess up. Could put the sniper back here. It's a little dangerous though, because then we could lose our 3-1. I think it is worth it. Alright, we have 11 damage on the field. If he trades there, that's great. Now we can play the sweeper and... What? That was such an amazing play! All friendly followers gain shielded. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, he's blowing me out of the water with this. Mm. Oh, man. What a play. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Do we have the win? <laughs> Please. He's at 25. We have 7 on the field. 15. 18. Actually, 22. Oh. Ooh. Oh, God. I think it's too much mana. Yeah, it's way too much mana. Ooh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. He can do 11 damage to us. I don't think we trade. I don't think we trade. We're just going to play some big boys with some big butts. They don't have big butts. I wish they did. Hmm. Yeah. Make the mistake. Attack it once more. Yeah. What a waste of an attack. Taunt and barrier. Oh, luckily, we have disintegrate. And headshot. That is 15 damage. Hmm. That is nine mana as well. So let's try something here. If we hit this. Uh, 
I'm trying to think of how we can win. I don't think we can do it. So I, I how we can get a blessing on one of our units. I don't think that's possible. If we hit here, we can bring him down to six. We can bring him down to 12. I, I'm, I'm doing too much math. <sighs> okay, let me let me just figure this out. Six, and then we can play this. And we have six mana, and he's at six. Two, two. Okay, let me let me try this. If I make a mistake, I'm gonna be so mad. Doot, doot, and doot, and we got a blessing. There we go. I knew we could do it. Whew. Okay. So many batteries. Return all followers with five or more attack to their leader's hand. Return target friendly follower to your hand and reduce the cost by one. You know, this might actually be a good dismantle. Exposure could be one of the AoE cards we were looking for. I got some freaking achievement for that. I feel like the, I achieved something very, very fantastic. Oh, it was win 500 battles. Wow. Okay. Wow. So that was forever, forever and ever. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's go to the skyship. <laughs> it was past midnight when the guards ran the alarm. Uh, there's a dog-sized, heavily armored vehicle. So we're going to feed it, and we're going to get a wrenchable. Hey. Blackstone. What a good, what a good, good little dude. The whistle from an outrider alerted us they had found a structure. When we guided a larger contingent towards it, we discovered a solid metal sphere that was half buried in the ground. This sphere reminded us of the fallen star that had sent us on our journey, but was much, much larger. Okay. S spoilers. I don't know. If you if you really want to figure everything out on your own, turn away now. I believe if we leave someone here somehow, we can actually unlock one of the new classes. So let's dig up this wreck. There were only a few of us, so it took us almost two days to dig up the hard ground. All right, now we enter it. Yes, okay. Eventually, we unearthed the metal sphere. To our surprise, it was connected to an ever larger metallic structure. Eventually, we came to a hatch that allowed us to access the interior. Send in Fork Face. Man, I don't, I don't wanna lose Fork Face. Let, I'm looking this up real quick. Uh, nowhere profit wiki. Gamepedia. Thank you. Classes? No, it's con classes. It's classes. Seer and spider. It's one of these two. It's not the seer. It's the spider. Leave a follower behind once you get to the fallen star event where you get a vision of other satellites. You likely require a certain amount of believer. Um, I think I want to enter. Because I want to be able to leave someone there. Let's see. We entered the structure with chemical torches. This interior was a mess. The groundwater had leaked into it through the cracks. Then suddenly we heard a clicking sound and readouts flashed to life on the building's walls. A static drone defense array had just activated itself and it started firing from several turrets. Okay, let's fight. Jeez. We lost a lot of units in that last fight. Okay. Let's take out all the wounded. I like Feral. I like Looter. Okay, we got we got some good heals in somewhere in there. Robust Fury. If this follower is wounded, gain plus two plus two. Okay, so let's put in one five. Try and smooth out that that curve a little bit. Vindicator? Yeah, sure. Vindicator returns. He's gonna make quite a splash. I don't, I don't like the hunter. I'll put one hunter in. Okay. Edit the leader deck. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. We could return all followers with five or more attack. Hmm. That's tough because sometimes we will have something with five or more attack. Burst fire, neural shiv. Mm, burst fire might be pretty good here. Oh, both of these are excellent turn one plays. So we have a lot of stuff on this field. At the start of your turn, deal two damage to a random enemy unit. What? <laughs> That's terrible. 
At the end of your turn, if you have one or more energy, spawn a drone. When a follower enters battle as a neighbor, they gain plus one, plus oh. What? The leader on this side loses one energy cell. Jeez. We can get food, we can get altruism. What? So I kind of want to kill that, but that wrecks my entire turn. But if I don't, whatever we play is going to be 2 HP down. I think we're just going to play this here. My plan is to... What? Destroy this? That doesn't sound good. We'll destroy the food. We need to open up some of this field because we're, we're a little too... Locked down. 2-1. Okay, now we have a pretty good ha uh, hasty blast. Oh, we have a fantastic hasty blast now. Oh, keep making it better. Okay. Oh, oh not burst fire. Hasty blast. So, blow them all up. That explodes, dealing 2 damage to everything around it. <laughs> that might have been one of the best plays I've ever made. So, let's destroy this. Let's, uh, I guess, build them up. I want to be energy efficient because we're going to lose an energy at some point, I believe. Ooh. This, this is looking pretty good. We have some drones we can play. Sniper back there. Destroy this. We only have one mana left. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty tough, actually. We could also kill this blind shot, but that doesn't that doesn't help us much. We could also headshot it. But again, oh, 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 the plays. Here we go. Play this up here. Freaking double his HP. Kill this. Pretty good. I don't mind giving him a 3-3. Three, three. When we have a 7-6 and a 6-6 six, six on the board and headshot in the hand. Shielded is a little bit of a pain. Yes, I will admit. Oh, he's going to kill my 6-6. Six, six. Fine. At least he traded for it. Hmm. What? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> the sniper is in my hand. It was in my hand the whole time. Yes, I see. I see what I have done. Let's blind shot and play a poison, dude. I will uh, I will play the poison first, and then I will destroy this. Yep, we go down to five. It's rough. I made a pretty severe misplay. That was, that was really, really bad. <laughs> but... Look at this, we, we have a big board, they have nothing. Static charge looks great here. Static charge looks fantastic here. Ooh, Relentless. Oh my god, Relentless here is actually gonna be really good. So, we can use it to protect our 2-1. This is definitely hit in the face. I do want to... Um, yeah, let's hit the face. Three. Let's kill this. We're going to play the, the haste dude. Haste into the face. Wait a second. I forgot to kill this thing. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, okay. This is my last. Uh, this is my last video I'm recording for the day. It's definitely starting to show. I, I'm getting a real loopy. Deal one damage. Okay. So, this is a little, a little weird. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. We can put him to five. Target follower. Burst fire. Exploit weakness. Slam into this. Destroy the rock. Play some big thing. That's probably that's probably the way we play it. What was it? Burst fire. Exploit weakness. So we can't play anything else because that's all the, our mana. That's fine too. Ah, right. This has robust. So we just return it to the hand instead. Hmm. Oops. Okay. Return it to the hand. I think I like that. I will burst fire this. I will not attack that. I will just let him kill it. That's fine. Oops. I did forget about Inspiring Command, but that's probably fine too. Deal one damage, plus one, plus one if it's a drone. It's really good. Sniper. Spawn a drone. I kind of want him to just hit my face. Okay. He's not going to do it. Okay. So we have the kill. Let me get rid of Dozer for a second. Ooh. Eight damage. I would like to kill the care package, but I don't think we can do that. So... Let's blast him away. There we go. Easy as that. I could have done it. <laughs> so if we had done a headshot and quick shot, we could have used this guy to attack that. We had the mana. It's the least important issue <laughs> that we have right now. Now we could return to our original purpose and look for salvageable machine parts and goods. There were indeed some riches to be found here, and we collected what we could carry. Food is appreciated, hope is appreciated, and combat sleeve. Starting armor 3 is great. The price of weakness. When an enemy unit is destroyed, if that unit has less strength than normal, the enemy leader takes 2 damage. That is really cool. And... Uh, I might disintegrate that. Having two disintegrates, two headshots. When is it too much? I think we've already reached that option. So we're actually just going to equip this for now. We may disintegrate it later. Dismantle it later. Uh, and that's that's where I'm calling it today. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, leave a like, a comment, to subscribe. Hopefully our boss fight is not nearly as arduous and long as this. So, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please hold me in your prayers. <laughs> See you guys later.